Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Today we're going to talk about my secret weapon. My secret weapon meaning how uh, if you have a big worksheet or you have several, maybe even tens of worksheets, um, how do you make it faster? How do you make it um, maybe more compact, even small enough to email? I mean, uh, a lot of people have 10 megabyte limits on their emails, even still. And um, I have a secret weapon up my sleeve. You can have a macro-enabled workbook, and you can compact it, shrink it down, make it run much faster, much smoother. Uh, it's got all of it. You, it. you can have all the formatting, all the conditional formatting, all the macros, all the everything that you normally have. Here's my secret weapon. And to show you, I'm going to use my buddy, um, Stefan, from Bulgaria, and he asked me about this, and I figured it was high time that I show everybody. So while I'm rambling, you see that this workbook takes a long time to load, and it's filling up with more and more data. And the problem with this workbook is that it's got lots of pivot tables, which take up quite a bit of calculation and, and CPU um, calculations. They pivot tables just take up a lot of resources because they're constantly waiting. You know, they have all this stuff in in your in your memory just ready to execute immediately if you need. So it takes a bit. So as you can see, he's got a bunch of dummy data entered in here. A lot of it's in uh, Russian or something like this. He's got these nice little slicers and things like that. Um, to hit enable editing here and enable macros and so as you can see um, everything just it just takes quite a bit of resources from the computer it's taking quite a while to load all this so I want that to really sink in because one of these days you're gonna find yourself with uh, some kind of dashboard like this or just heavy usage of your of your worksheets as tables or database tables and you're gonna find that you have you know a couple hundred thousand rows here of data and there in different tables and it might just take forever especially if you have all these pivot tables and slicers and stuff set up so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this now at the risk that it'll take forever I'm gonna click uh, phones and I just wanna that's gonna run a filter on all these pivot tables which will update these charts and you see it's taking forever to load and uh, Stefan said that also he gets problems with converting. It takes hours and hours to convert these files. I don't know what he's converting them to, perhaps XLS files or something like this. And I don't even dare click on one of these links because I did it earlier. But this is very clever. He's got an image. And what he's got here is uh, you click on here, and I think it activates that cell range or, or there's something going on for... Uh, it'll update this pivot chart right here. So that's brilliant. I want to study that. I think that's really neat to use a an image of uh, of that kind of thing. So that being said, it's just it's got a lot of stuff going on here. There's a lot of hidden worksheets and again, the dashboard takes up a lot of system RAM and a lot of CPU uh, calculation. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to click save here, but here's my secret weapon it Excel 2010 and I think 2007 has a format and by the way this this file is about 20 megabytes and ever-growing but I'm really proud of the way he did but anyway the format is XLSB um, XLSM is a spreadsheet that's macro enabled M is macro enabled XLSB let's do a file save as check this out we're going to do XLSB and that's fine it is a binary workbook so I'm going to hit save so a binary uh, workbook is it, it processes the data and saves it and compresses it differently than a standard macro enabled or regular SLX X I said that wrong X L S X uh, anyway it processes it better 
for some reason, I don't know why this is more popular, but this is my secret weapon, you guys. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and close out. Now I'm going to open up Excel again, just for good measure. We're going to remember how long it took to open up his workbook. Let's click on that one here. I promise you it took longer than this. So even so, it does have quite a bit of data, but I want you to compare that mentally with how long it took earlier. I would it would still be loading right now. Remember when I clicked on phones? How it nearly locked up. Now everything's calculating much faster. That's the XLSB, the binary type of workbook. I could even click on one of these and it'll update the little pivot table there. So, um, you may not believe me, don't take my word for it. I'm talking bulk up a worksheet, bulk up a workbook with all kinds of crazy calculations and some product formulas and for several tens of thousands of rows and stuff like that and compare how long things take whenever you have got um, an XLSM macro enabled or if you have an XLSB which is my secret weapon the binary type of workbook I'm telling you it works and and uh, did you see what just happened there I clicked save and it didn't take like half an hour to save it took it still took like five seconds but I don't have the best computer in my home anyway guys thanks for watching I hope this helps you I know it will if you apply it XLSB the binary files work a gazillion times faster I just discovered this recently and I've been waiting to bring bring it to you um, boy it's fast I'm telling you my reports load in a matter of a couple seconds when they when they're doing hundreds of thousands of calculations and lines of of code. So this is awesome. Really, XLSB. I'm serious. Check it out right now. Pause the video. Turn off everything. Go play around with this. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you. I hope each and every one of you have much success in life and in Excel and everything else. So I will shut up now. <laughs> Bye for now.